Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. Is the American compact falling apart? That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. There was heavy concern among the founding fathers about whether we the people would be able to govern ourselves after breaking away from England. Some early leaders like John Adams and Alexander Hamilton did not really believe the folks could come together to form a vibrant democracy. Adams and Hamilton favoring a strong central authority to dictate behavior. They were wrong. The individual states prospered and America became the most powerful country the world has ever seen. But we're not a perfect country. Blacks have been treated horribly. And that fact still resonates today. Also, Native Americans were exploited and brutalized. So were many whites as the nation forged a civilization. But now some who hate this country are trying to tear down the social fabric. They are doing so by dividing Americans along racial and economic lines. Listen to this exchange on CNN International. Is racism built into this country? Is it in the hearts of many Americans? Oh, I definitely think that's the case. Um, we see it playing out in the narratives that we um, see in the in the media, the way that our president is um, described and stereotyped and um, caricatured, the way that uh, uh, black children are uh, considered thugs and when their white counterparts do the same sorts of things they kind of are, um, are, are said to have had mental illness or I mean there's there's definitely um, a narrative where black people are consistently and historically being you know described as you know violent savage wild and that um, and this is this isn't anything new that goes all over the world CNN International and that kind of stuff sends a hateful message to younger Americans in particular and others around the world who don't understand America. As usual, the stats tell the true story. According to the FBI, there were 1,163,000 violent crimes in 2013, last stats available. Only 3,500 were classified as race-based hate crimes. So you can see that in a nation of 320 million people, we're not awash in racial warfare. In fact, legal protections make it almost impossible to be outwardly hostile to a minority in the workplace. I've traveled to 80 countries, and I can tell you there's more racial harmony in the USA than in 90% of the places that I've visited. Yet the America haters are trying to brand this country as racist, and they are succeeding to some extent. Now back to the social contract. The men who designed America well understood that each of us have responsibilities as citizens. We must obey the law. We must work for our daily bread. And we should pay enough attention to elect honest leadership. But how many of us are fulfilling our part of the bargain? With more than a million violent crimes every year in the USA, there's a problem. And now with nearly half the country willing to vote for a socialist for president, another huge problem is brewing. By the way, that stats from a recent Gallup poll. The truth is America is changing and those that dislike the country are taking advantage of all the chaos. They're selling rank propaganda that white supremacy drives the government, that the working man and woman cannot get ahead, that all authority is corrupt, white privilege. That's corrosive, hateful, and dishonest in the extreme. Yet if you defend America, as we do here on The Factor, you will be viciously attacked and few defenders will come to your aid. And that's why the haters are making so much progress. And that's a memo. Now for the top story tonight, reaction with us here in New York City, Monica Crowley, and from Washington, Kirsten Powers, both of Fox News analysts. So where am I going wrong, Kirsten? Well, I, first of all, I, we've had this conversation before. I, I do think that racism is a, is a serious issue in this country, and I don't know why you are so unable to see that and because the, I don't think it's an so epidemic of racism I don't think that. it's ingrained in the society and every country on earth has racist elements in it wouldn't you concede that every country on the not, planet what, has racist what, elements what, within what it. does but what does that have to do with anything that's it that, has that to do mean, with that it doesn't you mean can't that have the US doesn't world, have it but it doesn't mean well you're making two different arguments I mean is it we're racist and so is everybody else or no is no we're not everybody else is racist we don't have we don't have a system where racism is acceptable at all. We don't. Well, no, it's not, it's not acceptable, but that doesn't mean it, it doesn't exist. All right, and so you I, want I a Nirvana, even, even, a perfect you, country if, where everybody is open-minded and benevolent. You always, Impossible. You, are, you always have this, like, this way, it has to be one thing or the other. It can't be possible that there's something Look, in the middle. You it's must not, understand you know, and, what's it, being sold is that we are, as a society, are racist, white supremacy, white privilege. That's, that's what's being sold. If you don't get that's it, 
not. Then you then you must be not, living in a hut no, somewhere with no I'm, electricity. I'm living in the real world oh, no, you're where not. you can actually I defend love, America and I people don't attack you. I don't even know what night. you're talking about. You're you're saying that you can't defend America without people attacking you? I, I, I'm I saying that, all the time. We, that the world is being told by anti-American haters that we are a rank racist society and that is a lie. All right, you, Monica. Yes. Are there individual racists in this of country? Course. Sadly, yes. Does institutional racism exist anymore? No, it does not. We've got to understand that when we talk about racist or racism in America, it is not created by government action or codified law or social acceptance, okay? But you have people on the far left who believe that America is a nation that was founded on genocide, theft, crimes, and lies. Slavery. And, uh, slavery. Right. And therefore, we are undeserving and unworthy of our power. That's why they constantly seek to degrade America, to take us down in terms of our power and our influence and our status, both here at home and in the world. They want America taken down. Problem is we have enough enemies like ISIS and Russia around the world trying to do it from the outside. These are folks on the inside who hate this why, country so why? much they're trying to take us down All from right. within. You know, you're making a lot of noise there, which is rude to to Monica, I, and I, and I don't sorry, think you want to be rude. Because, you know, I you're just, snorting I'm, out there, I'm and I, I want snorting. you to knock it off, all right? I am not snorting. I just can't. I just don't know what you guys are talking about, and I don't. This idea that you well, can if say you don't that know what we, we're talking about, then you're people, not watching people, what's happening in the country. Right, because unless I think just like you, that I must no, not be paying you're attention. You're in a state of but denial the, about no, what's happening. That's what you're in. The thing that actually made me gasp, not snort, was this. This what Monica said that. No, you're doing a derisive people, people snort, are, and I, I want you to not, knock it off. I am not, Bill. Why don't you knock it off? I'm trying to finish a sentence. I did not. Monica and I are fine. Trust me. We have a very good relationship, and I respect her a lot. You know, the, the, the issue that I that I made a noise about that upset you so much is, is this idea that there's something crazy about talking about the fact that slavery was part of this country's history, that, that, that there are people out there that believe this, that we believe this. This is what happened. So what? I mean, we have tried and tried and tried as a society to overcome that. And, and, and I we acknowledge that it's still of, in but play. But we have a legacy from that. So, yeah, but we are trying to overcome the legacy. How? There are, how? Laws, civil rights legislation, really? all right, fast track, entitlements, uh, affirmative action. I mean, how many more programs can we have? Oh, I, but that's not, that's not, I, I, that, I don't even understand how that would help ac account for slavery. I mean, I, the, It was a the, historical the is, injustice that the I country think, is trying to make up for. But I, but the point is that we have to acknowledge that, it, that because of that it, legacy. Everybody that there, acknowledges, there are, every sane every, person no, acknowledges see, Bill, everybody it. does not acknowledge right. that. Well, that's then what you're talking you're about the lunatic you're missing, fringe. No, you're, no, it's not the lunatic fringe. There are actually a lot of people in this country who are racist, and you uh, just refuse. Do you, I mean, I, I really uh, have to wonder, like. All right. I mean, I, I, mean, I have to wonder about why you, you have, can't though? see what's happening. Because I, most Americans are not racist. They're I, not. I, Really? So how many yeah, really. black friends do you have? Really. How many black friends do you have? If you think most Americans are racist, I'm no, ashamed I'm, I'm of you. I'm asking you a serious question. I'm ashamed I say, of you. First of all, I didn't say most Americans were you racist. You just said I it. Said, well, if I said that, that, I meant that we have racism in this country. If I, Every and I, and, country and has is, it. And, and that if you don't have... What? How, how would that make it okay? It's not okay. It's not but endemic. I but I don't understand how that's an answer. Like, that, that every country has it? You it, can't it, run public policy because there are fringe elements who are insane. We no, are see, trying saying, as a country uh, to be decent fringe, and fair. It and that's not, not being portrayed. It is not a fringe element, and there are plenty of people who would disagree with you with the right. idea that somehow everything has been rectified in All our right. system. There's no let's, institutional let's give racism. Let's Monica the last word. I think word. people who work in what the criminal justice system would disagree with you. I, I just want to make a broader point about this, because when you hear people running down America, it's a racist country, or we're sexist, or we're homophobic, or whatever their, their argument du jour is, these are sweeping indictments of America. It comes from a certain ideology on the far left. E pluribus unum was our motto, used to be our motto out of many one what the left has done for decades and what they need to do in order to thrive is to slice and dice the American population by race by gender by creed you name it in order to pit us against well, each and other and that's what you're seeing and they are winning they're getting a lot of currency all right ladies good debate we're not mad at you Kirsten I'm sorry if I mischaracterized what oh, you were yeah. doing all right but I uh, mm -hmm. want respect for everyone one footnote Kirsten's book the silencing good book how the left is killing free speech currently available every